Hey everybody, tonight's video is going to be um, Air Jordan Retro 7 in the Bordeaux colorway. Um, these had been released a couple times before. Definitely an iconic shoe. Um, most everybody loves sneakers. Has seen the picture of MJ and MJ playing basketball against each other. And in that picture, Jordan's wearing these shoes. So take a look at them. Standard remastered box. Take a look at the shoes. Um, see the multicolored tongue. A um, little bit different on each shoe. Um, this one here, gold to Bordeaux, uh, the black and uh, an olive. Um, this one has the uh, the same colorway, um, just kind of moved over a little bit with the hint of blue in it. Jumpman 23 on the back. You can see the Bordeaux colorway carries on to the neoprene tongue. Multicolored bottom, like most of the sevens. <laughs> and like most of the sevens, I, I like the bottom. Um, I think really better than the entire shoe. Um, like all the remastered shoes, I've said this a ton of times before, uh, this is really high quality. Um, these are actually closer to a performance shoe than, say, uh, the fours. Um, you know, nice and light. Um, don't really know how much support this gives you up at the top. Um, you can kind of see a, a good look at everything there. Um, these are a very clean shoe. Um, as a nostalgia guy myself, you know, I can, uh, I can appreciate people wanting an OG colorway of a pair of shoes. Um, but to be really honest, I'm, <laughs> these shoes really don't do anything for me. Um, they're not that bad. Uh, they're just not that great. Um, I prefer the N7s uh, that came out early this year. I prefer the Marvin the Martian colorway as well. Uh, like I said, I appreciate the original OG colorways. Um, you know, people want the shoes that they wanted or had in the 80s and 90s, and they wanted as close to original as they can get, uh, which I can certainly appreciate. Um, but like I said, um, really not a fan generally of the colorway. Um, I almost think it would look better if the whole shoe was gray. Um, to give you an idea and um, you know when the whole shoe's black you kind of lose these panels which make the sevens you know pretty unique uh, against a lot of the other Jordans that you'll see out there um, it was definitely a good pickup um, got them from finish line um, soul links put out the early link on the on those if you don't follow them um, give them a follow I'll put the links to their website um, as well as their Twitter feed um, pretty active all day long um, doesn't just focus on Jordans or Nikes, puts out a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're not following uh, following them, be sure to do so. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put the links down below. You guys can check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Uh, be sure to follow um, if you want to see more. Uh, the Jordan 1.5s are coming out this weekend. I'm actually really excited to get those. Um, these I think I might be passing on to somebody else. Um, like I said, I'm just really not a fan of the shoe. And like I did say, I, I totally get why people love this shoe. I, I totally get it, but um, just not really in a style and a color way that, that I'm going to appreciate. So and thanks to you guys so much for watching. Um, check me out next week. I'll be sure to post something new. Um, and like I said, be sure to follow me and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see all my videos. Um, have a good night. See you later.